<laughs> welcome to, to me running a meeting, everyone. Uh, we'd like to welcome each of you to our city council meeting this evening. We appreciate that you've taken time out of your day to attend our meeting, to participate, and to see your local government at work. To start the meeting, we have laid out some guidelines for decorum and civility and to make people uh, make sure people feel comfortable and safe to participate. Uh, one, please be respectful during other people's comments. Avoid cheering or jeering because it could cause someone to feel intimidated. Two, please also help take care of this historic meeting room by not standing on furniture or leaning against decorative pieces. And three, if you have a sign, prop, or other piece of equipment, uh, i.e. video equipment or other, please make sure that it does not cause disruption or block other people's views. Uh, signs wider than your chair will be displayed in the hall. Also, items like sticks and dowels are not allowed. And four, please do not approach the dice. If you have something to pass out to the council, a staff member can assist you, and they'll be on either side of the, uh, the room. Our staff is here to help you. If you need any assistance or have any questions, please raise your hand, and a staff member will come help. Also, we recognize that two minutes of common time may not be long enough to get all of your thoughts outlined tonight. Please visit our website or refer to the contact information sheets by the speaker's cards for information about other ways to share your comments with the council via email, phone, or mail. And we will uh, begin tonight with the opening ceremony, and um, please join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you all very much. We will now hold the public hearing portion of our meeting. We have a few opportunities for public comment tonight and we'll call people based on the comment cards that have been turned in. Please note that if you have already spoken at a public hearing or on a specific topic, you may not speak again during that hearing, even a continued hearing. But you may speak during the general comment period. I will call uh, people two at a time. The first person, please come forward to the microphone. And the second person, please be ready to follow. Comment time is limited to two minutes per person, as we said earlier, and you cannot combine time with another speaker. As a reminder, please help create a civil and respectful meeting by being respectful during our other people's comments, no loud noises or other disruptions. Do not block other people's views with signs or other items, and allow council staff to help pass out any handouts you may have. I'm going to wait for some cards, perhaps. Do we have any cards? Going once, twice. Oh, we may have one. We don't have any cards? Mr. Chair, I move that we close the public hearing. Do we have a second? Second. It has been moved by Council Member Penfold and seconded by Council Member Luke. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? The motion passes. We are on to uh, section C, potential action items. Our first item is a resolution changing enhanced street lighting from special assessment areas to monthly fees. I'll look for a motion. Mr. Chair, I move that the council adopt a resolution changing the funding source for the city's enhanced street lighting from special assessment areas to a monthly fee. Second. We have a motion uh, has been moved by council member Penfold and seconded by council member uh, Kitchen. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? The motion passes. We are on to item C2, a motion to amend the Street Lighting Utility Fund budget for fiscal year 2016-17. St Mr. Yeah. Chair, I move that the council approve the updated budget for street lighting fund to reflect the revenue and expenses for enhanced lighting areas as shown on the annual budget key changes, uh, which allocates $15,000 for mailings and other outreach efforts in enhanced lighting areas throughout the year. And with the understanding that revenues collected from the base lighting rates will not be used to pay for enhanced lighting expenses. Second. We have a motion by Councilmember Penfold and seconded by Councilmember Kitchen. Is there any discussion? 
Um, Mr. Chair, I support this, and should it pass, I have some legislative intent to add. Okay, any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right, the uh, motion passes. Councilman Penfold? Mr. Chair, I move that the council adopt the legislative intent statements as listed in the motion sheet. Second. We have a motion by uh, Councilmember Penfold, a second by Councilmember Adams. Any discussion on that? Uh, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? The motion passes. The next potential action item is C3, uh, an ordinance to amend the Salt Lake City Consolidated Fee Schedule related to enhanced street lighting. I'm on a lighting roll if nobody else likes. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, I move that the council adopt an ordinance to amend the Consolidated Fee Schedule related to enhanced street lighting, which will set the rates for property owners and enhanced in enhanced lighting areas. It is the council's understanding that the rates will continue to be evaluated and set in order to generate enough revenue to cover the full cost of enhanced lighting in those areas of the city so that no other utility funds nor general fund will be required to financially contribute to cover enhanced lighting expenses. Second. We have, it has been moved by Councilmember Penfold and seconded by Councilmember Kitchen. Any discussion? Uh, Mr. Chair, I would just like to comment on the work of the staff and our consultant and public utilities in getting this to us. It's been a little bit of a lengthy process, but it, it is the best solution I have seen in uh, resolving a lot of problems with our multiple array of enhanced lighting districts in the city. It consolidates them and puts them all under a similar fee structure and, and should significantly reduce the cost for a number of these areas. Any other discussion on this item? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? The motion passes. Items C4 through C18 are associated with the city's 2016-2017 budget. Uh, the public hearings for these items were held May 24th and June 7th. We are now ready to vote on these items. Each of the following items are associated with the city's annual budget and will be addressed with the updated motion sheet that the staff passed out at the dice. This will walk council members through the budget items. Staff has extra copies if anyone in the audience would like one to follow along. Please raise your hand if you'd like one. I will look for a motion then. Really? <laughs> okay. Um, I move that the council adopt an ordinance approving Salt Lake City's fiscal year 2016-17 budget as outlined in the attached key changes schedule and staffing document with the contingencies outlined below, excluding the schedule for capital projects and debt and the library fund and any items that may be considered separately. Is there a second? A second. It has been moved by Council Member Penfold again and seconded by Council Member Kitchen. Is there any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Those opposed? The motion passes. Mr. Chair? <coughs> yes. Um, I further move that the following appropriations be contingent as described below. Contingency A, portable toilets, $200,000 is approved for a pilot project uh, to purchase portable bathrooms to be placed in the Rio Grande area contingent on securing a $75,000 match. Funding will be used towards staffing needs to monitor and clean the new portable restrooms and the Portland Loos. It is expected that a contract will be issued to refine the cost estimates and needing needed staffing levels will be evaluated and the administration will report to the council in September. Contingency B, homeless services, $405,000 is approved to support homeless services and needs in the Rio Grande area, contingent upon funding being used on the following. $100,000 in the police department for increased foot patrol in the Rio Grande neighborhoods. $150,000 for a pilot project with behavioral health services. $50,000 for mitigation at 500 West. $45,000 to increase capacity for a place for your stuff. 
$25,000 for enhanced day services, $10,000 for queuing mitigation, and $25,000 uh, increased clean team funding. Contingency C, Public Utilities Watershed and Water Rights Acquisition Fund, funding received from special fees assessed on the utility bills for watershed and water rights acquisition shall be appropriated contingent upon council review and approval of proposed uses and acquisition expenditures. Second. It's been moved by council member who was it, Luke? Uh, and seconded by Council Member Penfold. Is there any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? The motion passes. Mr. Chair, I move that the Council adopt an ordinance approving the budget for the Library Fund for fiscal year 2016 2017. Second. We have a motion by Council Member Penfold and seconded by Council Member Adams. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? The motion passes. Mr. Chair, I move that the council adopt an ordinance setting the rate of tax levy, including the levy for the library fund, upon all real and personal property within Salt Lake City, made taxable by law for fiscal year 2016-17, as listed on the motion sheet, and authorize the chair to sign the necessary documentation for the state tax commission. Second. We have a motion by Councilmember Penfold, seconded by Councilmember Luke. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? The Mr. motion Chair. passes. I move that the council adopt the total amount to be transferred to CIP, including $11,456,351 in funding for annual debt service and ESCO payments as detailed for those items in the mayor's recommended CIP budget, and with the understanding that most of the funding for CIP projects will be considered separately later this year, except for the following specific CIP projects for adoption now. $200,000 for the Seagull Lily Project and Sugar House contingent on $400,000 being raised as a community match for city funds and eighty thousand dollars toward traffic safety measures at the 600 north off ramp second we have a motion by council member luke seconded by council member kitchen any discussion all in favor aye any opposed the motion passes Mr. Chair, I move that the council adopt the legislative intent statements as outlined on the motion sheet under motion six items A through J. Second. A motion by council member Penfold and seconded by council member Luke. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? The motion passes. Mr. Chair, I move that the Council adopt all ordinances related to the f fiscal year 2016-17 budget as detailed on the agenda as items six, or C6 through C18 and with the amendments as outlined on items A and F. Do we have a second? Second. second. We have a motion by Councilmember Luke, seconded by Councilmember Penfold. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? The motion passes. The next two potential action items related to the local uh, building authority business. Do I have a motion to convene as a local building authority? Mr. Chair, I move that the city council recess and convene as the board of directors of the local building authority. Is there a second? Uh, we have a motion by council member Kitchen, seconded by council member Luke. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? The motion passes. Mr. Chair, I move that the board approve the minutes of May 3rd, May 10th, May 24th, and June 7th. We have a motion by Councilmember Kitchen, seconded by Councilmember Luke. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? The motion passes. Mr. Chair, I move that the board approve a resolution adopting the final budget for the capital projects fund of the local building authority for fiscal year beginning July 1st, 2016 and ending June 30th, 2017. Second. We have a motion by council member Kitchen, seconded by council member Adams. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? The motion passes. Mr. Chair, I move that the Board of Directors adjourn and reconvene as the City Council. Second. Uh, it's been moved by Council Member Kitchen and seconded by Council Member Adams. 
Uh, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? The motion passes. Next, we are uh, we are um, agenda item D one. Are there any questions of the mayor from the city council? Thank you very much for being here, Mayor. Thank you. Um, I don't think I have any questions, but yeah. Oh, do you have questions? I'm yeah. sorry. We can go both ways. It's okay. Right. Can go either way. Like, I don't think I have any. Do you have any? Mayor, I, I, this is not a question, but I just want to thank you for your support of the vigil last evening. I think that was a really important community event, and I uh, really appreciate your comments and your uh, willingness to uh, be a part of the, that sort of significant effort to bring healing um, to the community. So thank you very much. Well, it was well done. I thought the speakers that were selected really covered the gamut. It, it meant a lot to our city and the, and people from outside the city. Mayor, how does it feel to have a budget pass, your first budget? <laughs> uh, it feels good. It, it's a lot of work, as you know, digging into your first budget and really analyzing what's in there and what's not. And um, But very appreciative of the council's work and um, looking forward to some further discussions. So, thank Relatively you. Relatively unscathed. Yes. Yes. Any Mayor, I, go ahead. Um, I, I also would like to echo what Stan said. I thought you did an excellent job last night in um, addressing our city at a really sad time, and you uh, did a magnificent job, and I think that everyone really felt the power of your words, and I really appreciate it and appreciate that. Uh, we were able to have a vigil last night. Even despite the pouring rain, it was really well attended, and I appreciate all those who were willing to come and attend and show their support for Orlando. Yeah. Oh, come on. Speak loudly. But, you know, I think... There were a lot of people who wanted to feel like the rain that like somebody was mad at us, but I saw his tears from heaven, and I hope I never lost it as well. And um, you know, the whole event was very healing. Uh, I think it allowed people to really express in a way that we were needed. So, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Mr. Thanks. Chair. Any other comments or questions from the council? Mayor, do you have anything for the council you'd like to say? Any questions, perhaps? Yeah. Now, now, now. Oh, wow, look. Patrick must have a magic button somewhere. Um, no, I, I don't. I, I do, um, I do uh, want to have the opportunity um, to, at some point, dialogue around my vision of Laura's role in the RDA. Um, and try to make sure people understand um, h how that role will be f will be played um, operationally, because um, there just seems to be a lot of confusion around that, and I apologize for that. And I would like, um, at some point, the opportunity to really explain what will be happening and how that operation will be run under her leadership. I think we'd appreciate that. Speaking mm -hmm. myself, Council Brabs. Yes, thank you very much, Mayor. Thank you. Anything else tonight? Uh -huh. <laughs> we got plenty of time, so. Uh, I also needed to, uh, I, I failed to recognize that Council Members uh, Rogers and Mendenhall are not with us tonight, are excuse, so. We will uh, be taking comments, uh, general comments tonight, and we'll call people based on the comment cards that have been turned in. Just like the public hearings, I will call people uh, two at a time. The first person, please come forward to the microphone, and the second person, please be ready to follow. Comment time is two minutes per person. You cannot combine time with another speaker. As a reminder, please help create a civil and respectful meeting by being respectful during other people's comments, no loud noises or other disruptions. Uh, please do not block other people's views with signs or other items, and let council staff uh, help pass out any handouts you may have. I have currently uh, comment cards from Jacob Jensen, followed by Amy Jones. Mr. Jensen? 
First up, huh? Okay. Recent events in Orlando beg us to take a moment to think about the recently slaughtered LGB trans community. I would like to take a moment to ponder their hateful and unjustified deaths. One narrative that's lost prominence in this tragedy, and perhaps even the primary, is that the killer too had a badge and a gun. These four higher security guards trained him to use a gun, how to kill people effectively with it, which he did. A proper public oversight might have weeded out this guy, but sadly, the private nature of companies does not allow for that. Several years back, SLPD also systemically targeted LGB trans people, persons in the community, and I'm pleased to say that is far less the case today. However, the core problem still remains to abate such tragedies. We still have the situation where people with a badge and a gun can brutalize and ruin people's lives forever. The unnamed shooter with a badge and a gun who shot Avdi, whose life is also changed forever, still roams the streets. But unlike Orlando, and unlike this mercenary group, the Salt, uh, Salt Lake City can do something about our people with a badge and a gun. Once again, I call on the City Council to install a community-controlled police review board, a board with the power, with the ability to change police policy, the power to recommend discipline, uh, to di uh, discipline abusive officers, and the power to subpoena, and lastly, the power to deliberate responsibly on those actions. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jensen. Amy Jones, followed by Douglas Cotan. Hello, I'm Amy. Um, no, I think we need a community review board, and I think um, I totally agree with what you said. And we're going to keep coming back. And I mean, I think we're trying to do it the right way, like trying to be like, hey, we kind of need help, and we need your help with it. But like, if you don't help us, like, it's going to suck for everyone, and I don't want that to happen. So I mean, I'm here, and I'm trying. So thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Adams. Douglas Cotant, followed by Amir Cornell. First of all, how are you, Mayor? How are you doing? Just fine, thank you. Good. Secondly, I'm going to purposely ignore this business about uh, what happened in February that's passed. What I'm going to say is that uh, I was considering coming over here last night to uh, help in the uh, in the uh, morning morning for those people in uh, Orlando, and I would have, and I would have brought my scriptures with me, to, and I would have read some scriptures, but I didn't come over because it was raining and. Uh, and it was a little bit windy. Also, um, I want to say to the mayor and to the city council that uh, I've watched those uh, short uh, programs on uh, YouTube and they are very good. In fact, uh, I just uh, watched one uh, yesterday, you know, when when that news commentator uh, interviews the mayor, and uh, I think I think those are very good uh, ways of of communication. And I will not be here next week because I, I will be out of town for a week, and uh, so. Uh, and I guess that's all I have to say. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. If I may, Douglas, it's a good thing you won't be here next week because we won't be here next week either. So oh, you won't? It's okay. All right. <laughs> Mr. Chair? Yes. We won't be back until July 12th. July 12th. All right, thank you. Uh, Mr. Amir Cornell, followed by Ms. Carly Haldeman. <clears throat> Good evening, Council. I would like to take a moment for tribute to the people in uh, Florida um, because of the, uh, their 
LGBT and the Latinos. And I'd like to take a moment of silence for those people. We used to have a mayor called Didi Cordini. Didi Cordini 20 years ago said, uh, Florida and Utah, they are sister state. And uh, these two states are friendly to the LGBT, so as we are in Utah. And I don't want you to think just because some idiot called himself Muslim, I am Muslim, and my name is Amir Mohammed Sadegi Cornell. And I love LGBT, and I have uh, two wonderful neighbors in Sugar House and two wonderful neighbors in Park City. And they are the greatest neighbor I have. That's all I have to say. And thank you. And make a last minute. I would like to see Salt Lake City PD with uh, Salt Lake County uh, Unified PD. When they see these kind of the incident, they work together because we don't want to have that incident in Salt Lake City or any city in the state of Utah. You got to remember, there is always a nut cake, no matter where you go. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Cornell. Uh, Carly Haldeman. Thanks for having me. I was hoping by this time um, there would be some changes enacted, but I know it takes time. So um, forgive me, I'll try to be as respectful as possible. Um, with Abdi Mohammed paralyzed now, and um, let's see, happened in February, it's now March, now, now it's now June, um, not, we've seen nothing. And people are waiting for us to forget, people are waiting for us to become less angry, and we're not. If we have to keep doing this, we'll keep coming back. We'll keep coming back for Abdi because he can't walk here, he can't be here. And Mayor, if you're able to see the footage, if you don't know the name, we should have that same access. We should be trusted with that kind of information. We should be part of this. And we're asking that we have a say and who is protecting us because some of them aren't doing a good job. I've been sexually harassed by two different police officers. This is ridiculous. This is so ridiculous, and I am so fed up seeing racism rampant in our Salt Lake PD. PD. There's different forms of racism. There's racists like Donald Trump, who are a little more vocal about it, and there's racists who sit on the sidelines and do nothing. When you take the position of neutrality, you are on the side of the oppressor. And this is our only platform for democracy right now, and even if you feel like you can't do anything, this is all we got, and we need your help. So if you can't do anything, find someone who can, because the police are killing our people nationally, and Salt Lake has an issue with it too, Saratoga Springs and it needs to stop and we're going to keep seeing more lives lost and you're going to see destruction and, and people rebelling because they have the right to because no one's going to help them but themselves so we're asking you in, in a peaceful manner to help us to enact a community control review board to work with us or else you're going to regret it it's going to be messy thank you thank you Ms. Haldeman is there anyone else who would like to speak? Okay. We are now at our new business of our agenda. Item E1 is regarding a motion for a legislative action to initiate a zoning text amendment regarding historic signs. Mr. Chair, I move the council initiate a legislative action pertaining to the process to restore or replace existing historic sign with the intents outlined in the staff memo. Is there a second? Second. We have a motion by Councilmember Adams, seconded by Councilmember Luke. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? The motion passes. Our next business item is a, is a legislative action item for a zoning text amendment transit station area TSA development review process. Mr. Chair. I move the council initiate a legislative action pertaining to the approval process for development in the TSA zoning district with the intents outlined in the staff memo. Is there a second? 
Second. We have a motion by Councilmember Kitchen, seconded by Councilmember Adams. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? The motion passes. There are no unfinished business items. We are now at the consent portion of our agenda. I will look for a motion to approve the consent agenda. Mr. Chair, I move that we approve the consent agenda. We have a motion by Councilmember Penfold, seconded by Councilmember Luke. Uh, any dis uh, those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, any opposed? The motion passes. This concludes the formal council meeting. Thank you for your attendance at tonight's council meeting. The meeting will stand adjourned.